Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Nareen here from RCA Remodeling and Flying. Uh, hope you guys are doing great and uh, flying high. Before I start, uh, I think we all agree on uh, one uh, factor that lithium polymer batteries are one of the uh, important uh, factors when we talk about uh, RC world. I personally feel that uh, for any successful flight, a good uh, LiPo is what we need on the plane when you're flying it. Uh, but, uh, coming back to the real agenda here, we all deal with uh, LiPos uh, in day, day in and day out. If you're a frequent flyer, you might charge it every day or if you're a uh, fly occasionally, you might charge it uh, uh, on a weekly basis or on a mon monthly basis. Uh, I'm not a frequent flyer. I uh, charge uh, my uh, LiPos not quite often, but uh, I do charge it once in a week. All right, uh, so uh, the agenda here is uh, how exactly to charge a lithium polymer battery. Uh, you might have your own ways of uh, charging. My personal experience, uh, I've been into this hobby uh, for almost like uh, two years now and I've been dealing with uh, uh, LiPos for quite some time. Uh, I've blown up uh, LiPos. I've had uh, a few uh, small instances where uh, it was not uh, in my favor. So uh, basically what I will be uh, explaining you guys here is uh, it's not a rocket science guys. Uh, there is uh, nothing like uh, LiPo is going to uh, bring down your house or LiPo is going to uh, create a havoc in your house and nothing like that. Uh, from my experience since two years now, I've never had an experience where uh, I had to go die down there and save myself. There's nothing like that. Uh, first up, this is what you need when you have LiPos. This is called as a lithium polymer at a safe bag. This will indeed uh, help you guys in your bad times uh, because it has helped me in my bad times I suggest you that each and every one who deals with lithium polymer batteries must have this bag for safe charging or for storage or for discharging in this video uh, I will show you how to charge a lithium polymer battery using a simple 2 to 3 cell uh, um, balance charger also I will show you the same procedure to charge a lithium polymer battery using a IMAX B6 AC uh, built in uh, AC adapter professional balance charger and discharger also I will show you how to discharge a LiPo using a IMAX B6 AC uh, professional balance charger and I will show you the, uh, how to uh, attain that uh, safe voltage for any lithium polymer batteries in order to uh, store the LiPo for the longer duration. And I will be explaining you what are the different features that are available in IMAX P6 AC uh, professional charger. Uh, this comes with a lot of features inbuilt in it. Uh, this can charge uh, two to six uh, cells of uh, um, batteries. Um, batteries can be lithium polymer batteries, can be NICAD, can be Leafy. Uh, there are a couple of more features. May, uh, basically, I have, I will be using this f to charge my lithium polymer batteries. Um, I haven't tried uh, charging any other batteries in it uh, because uh, I didn't feel the necessity to do so. Um, also, uh, the, uh, the most impo important uh, uh, lesson, how to safely charge the uh, LiPo uh, because that's one of the key factors uh, uh, in order to for your personal safety as well as your uh, surroundings because uh, if Le uh, LiPos goes for a uh, short time, it is haywire sometimes and I've never had experiences before though I've had uh, instances where I've lost uh, LiPos like this one where it was a 3 cell LiPo and uh, one of the uh, cells uh, was uh, came down uh, the minimum voltage and uh, puffed up and had to get it uh, pop it out in order to 
make this uh, workable. Uh, this, uh, all this, I'm going to be explaining you guys in detail. So first up, I will show you how to charge a lithium polymer battery using a simple two to three cell uh, charger. This one is the Turnigy one. I'll start with this uh, LiPo first. This is a 900 uh, mAh uh, two cell, uh, 25C uh, LiPo. Uh, before I um, start uh, charging this uh, LiPo, I'll first check uh, what's the current voltage of this uh, battery. Here you can see the the overall voltage of this uh, LiPo is 7.4. Each cell in this uh, LiPo is one. The first one has 3.70 and the second one has 3.70 as well. So it sums up to 7.4. And I have this um, uh, voltage. Uh, reason being, I have not used this for a for a week now and had kept this in a safe storage voltage so the, uh, the lipos can be each cell can be charged up till 4.2 so currently it is uh, 3.7 so I still can go ahead and charge this uh, lipo till each cell reach 4.2 and 4.2 and both sums up to 8.4 so uh, so for for a longer flight before uh, overnight you can uh, charge your lipos before the night you go out flying and bring up the voltage level to 8.4 uh, next day you go out flying and again you come back and you check your uh, check your uh, voltage level using the simple voltage uh, checker. Uh, if you see the voltage level has dropped uh, below 3.2, I personally feel never go down below 3.3 or 3.4, which is safe every time because anything below 3.3 or 3.4 the lipo and the particular cell starts acting funny uh, I have faced this problem wherein I have brought down uh, voltage level below 3.4 and the voltage uh, and the uh, cell, uh, that particular cell on that uh, lipo is not detected by either of this charger or not by this um, and this is a live example of one of the uh, lipos you can see it's puffed up so the reason being I'll show you what exactly has led to this you can see so this is again a 2 cell 300 300 mAh 20 C battery all says 6.6 Okay, the all is 6.6, first one say 3.67, second one is blinking and that is 2.86. So, I have royally screwed it up. Uh, the 2.89 cell, that's the second cell in this lipo, is blown out and it's run out of power and there is no way that I can regain it. I have tried all possibilities, I have tried to do everything possible that I could, uh, uh, that I thought I could retain that uh, second uh, lipo, uh, all uh, uh, unsafety methods uh, had gone ahead and tried, but uh, don't try any of those. You might end up blowing your lipo. So I suggest that if you drop down your voltage level of each cell in your lithium polymer battery below 3.3 to 3.4 voltage I would say it's impossible to regain it back uh, it's a waste trash it next let's start explaining you how to charge this one using using 
a simple lithium uh, lithium polymer charger i will show you how exactly to charge it okay means it on 12 12 volt mm, polarity is also fine all right so here you can see uh, the red uh, the red uh, led a steady red led pop is is flashing so all i have to do is simply take the balance board never use i mean it, either ways you can't use your mains here you should, yeah, there's only one option that is there that you should use your balance boards simply plug in plug in this plug in like this that uh, this is for two cell and this one is for three cell simply plug in to your two cell port the uh, two cell uh, lipo and the steady light indicates that the uh, battery has been is getting charged it's as simple as this guys so uh quick points if you are going out flying charge it completely bring up the voltage in each cell to 4.2 and in this case it's 4.2 plus 4.2 that is 8.4 that's a fully charged battery though you may not attend 4.2 4.2 in each cell but somehow you can manage to get it around 4.2 in one cell or sometimes 4.19 in another cell that's perfectly fine wherein the charger starts beeping and you have to plug it out and say okay convince yourself that the uh, lipo is fully charged so uh, don't bother just go out it, uh, your, uh, your lipo is fine just go out and fly it's not a problem at all come back and you can recharge uh, check your uh, check your lipo the current voltage never fly it uh, below 3.5 uh, 3.3 or 3.4 uh, voltage below on each cell that is uh, 3.3 plus 3.3 is around uh, uh, 6.6 so never fly your uh, lipo uh, never let down your uh, lipo's voltage below 6.6 for a, a two cell lipo so this is how you charge so in case if you want to uh, s uh, uh, store this lipo for the uh, for more than one day so you have to get it to a, a safe voltage point and for every lipo the safe voltage point is 3.7 so it can be 3.7 3.78 or 3 never never let it down by 3.7 keep it at 3.7 to 3.8 is perfectly fine it's still good to go to for your lipo to be stored for the longer duration so this is about uh, single uh, two cell uh, lipo now coming to three cell lipo this is one of the examples so all you have to do is here you can see the this main this mains cannot be used anyway here so there's no point of mains charging so all you have to do is use this uh, use this uh, balance charger you can see a steady green light which indicates the battery has been has been charging so uh, the disadvantage of this charger is uh, you will not get to know the rate at which the uh, battery is getting charged in order to uh, know the voltage of the battery and also uh, voltage per cell we can use this simple voltmeter uh, to know uh, know that so uh, i will show you how uh, to check that uh, here you can see uh, what 
voltage per cell and all uh, the overall voltage of this uh, of the battery so the overall voltage is 11.4 each cell is 3.7 3.8 second one third one is 3.8 so it's well within the storage uh, 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 voltage so this is about charging a two a three cell uh, lithium polymer battery using a simple charger Thank you.